He's adorned cereal boxes, t-shirts, and bed sheets. Been the star of his own Saturday morning cartoon program, and appeared on virtually every video game platform ever released. He's always hungry, and he's turning 35. Born in Tokyo in 1980, our yellow friend was originally named Puckman, after the Japanese Pucka, essentially to chomp. But due to the closeness of a certain four-letter English word and some concerned arcade shop owners, Puckman became Pac-Man. Within 15 months of its U.S. release in October 1980, game maker Bandai Namco sold over 100,000 arcade units, and fans spent over $1 billion in quarters. A pop culture phenomenon had begun. Pac-Man is now the star of one of the most successful video games of all time. And according to the Guinness Book of World Records, he's one of the most recognizable of all video game characters. Hello, my sweet little boy. Look how big you've grown! Pac-Man's creator, Toru Iwatani, has said Pac-Man was meant to attract female gamers to expand on that traditional male audience. Another revolutionary idea in Pac-Man? Keep things interesting, each ghost behaves differently. One simply chases you, two try to attack from the front, and the fourth will seem like it's chasing you, and then abruptly change course. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde are dangerous, until their lunch. I'd be remiss not to mention Pac-Man's wife, Mrs. Pac-Man, a legend in her own right, or to point out that Pac-Man is as relevant today as ever, with his own Google Doodle in 2010, and starring in a beer commercial in Super Bowl 49. So raise a glass, or chomp a dot to Pac-Man. Happy birthday, old boy.